Hi friends, welcome to Nursing Online Education. In this video we will be discussing some important questions and answers for different nursing competitive examinations. Guys let's get started. Here is our first question. A female client is admitted with a diagnosis of acute renal failure. She is awake, alert, oriented, and complaining of severe back pain, nausea and vomiting and abdominal cramps, blood pressure, 170ths of a millimeter hg pulse 110 respiratory rate 30 temperature 38 degrees celsius oral sodium 120 meq l potassium 5.2 meq l urinary output for the first eight hours is 50 milliliters the client is displaying signs of which electrolyte imbalance I repeat, a female client is admitted with a diagnosis of acute renal failure. She is awake, alert, oriented, and complaining of severe back pain, nausea and vomiting and abdominal cramps, blood pressure, 170ths of a millimeter hg, pulse, 110, respiratory rate, 30, temperature, 38 degrees celsius oral, sodium 120 meq l potassium 5.2 meq l urinary output for the first eight hours is 50 milliliters the client is displaying signs of which electrolyte imbalance and the options are a hyponatremia b hyperkalemia c hyperphosphatemia d hypercalcemia and the right answer is option a hyponatremia here is our next question. Which of the following drugs is used for the treatment of digitalis toxicity? I repeat, which of the following drugs is used for the treatment of digitalis toxicity? And the options are A. Protamine sulfate B. Streptokinase C. Theophylline D. Digoxin immune fab The right answer is option D. Digoxin immune fab here is our next question. A 56-year-old man was brought to the emergency room by his relatives, on examination he appears sick and has severe weakness. One of his relatives told the nurse that the man eats nearly nothing and have been crying most of the time for three months now since he lost his son in an accident. The nurse knows that this patient is suffering from. I repeat. A 56-year-old man was brought to the emergency room by his relatives, on examination he appears sick and has severe weakness. One of his relatives told the nurse that the man eats nearly nothing and have been crying most of the time for three months now since he lost his son in an accident. The nurse knows that this patient is suffering from, and the options are A. Mania B. Insomnia C. Depression D schizophrenia the right answer is option c depression here is our next question a nurse discusses high risk complications with a group of women at a prenatal clinic which client would the nurse identify as being at highest risk for developing complications during pregnancy i repeat a nurse discusses high risk complications with a group of women at a prenatal clinic which client would the nurse identify as being at highest risk for developing complications during pregnancy and the options are a a 25-year-old Gravita I client B. A client with the placenta implanted on the fundus of the uterus C. A client who has nausea and vomiting during the first trimester D. A 30-year-old client with DM The right answer is option D. A 30-year-old client with DM Here is our next question. A 35-year-old man is admitted with severe renal colic. The nurse should monitor this man for possible complications. Which of the following is a complication of renal colic? I repeat, a 35-year-old man is admitted with severe renal colic. The nurse should monitor this man for possible complications. Which of the following is a complication of renal colic? And the options are, a, anemia, b, polyuria, c, hypertension, d, oliguria. The right answer is option d, oliguria. Here is our next question. An 82-year-old woman who has Alzheimer's disease is admitted to the acute care unit. 
she frequently gets out of bed and wanders in the hall, unable to find her way back to her room. She even gets in the beds of other clients. What nursing action is most appropriate for this client? I repeat, an 82-year-old woman who has Alzheimer's disease is admitted to the acute care unit. She frequently gets out of bed and wanders in the hall, unable to find her way back to her room. She even gets in the beds of other clients. What nursing action is most appropriate for this client? And the options are, A. Restrain her so she will not wander in the halls. B. Ask her roommate to call the nurse whenever she leaves the room. C. Punish her when she gets in a bed other than her own. D. Put her favorite picture on the door to her room. The right answer is option D. Put her favorite picture on the door to her room. Here is our next question. A 38-year-old client who has mitral stenosis is hospitalized for a valve replacement. Which condition is the client most likely to report having had earlier in life? I repeat, a 38-year-old client who has mitral stenosis is hospitalized for a valve replacement. Which condition is the client most likely to report having had earlier in life? And the options are A. Meningitis B. Syphilis C. Rheumatic Fever D. Rubella The right answer is option C. Rheumatic Fever. Here is our next question. The nurse is caring for a client who had a right modified radical mastectomy this morning. Which exercise should the nurse encourage the client to perform this evening? I repeat, the nurse is caring for a client who had a right modified radical mastectomy this morning. Which exercise should the nurse encourage the client to perform this evening? And the options are, A. Hair combing exercises with the right arm. B. Wall climbing exercises with the right arm. C. Movement of the fingers and wrists of the right arm. D. Exercises of the left arm only. The right answer is option C. Movement of the fingers and wrists of the right arm. Here is our next question. The following picture represents a newborn reflex known as. I repeat, the following picture represents a newborn reflex known as. And the options are A. Rooting reflex B. Moro reflex C. Grasping reflex D. Startle reflex The right answer is option A. Rooting reflex Here is our next question. A client undergoes right mastectomy for carcinoma. When teaching the client post-mastectomy exercises, it is important for the nurse to I repeat, a client undergoes right mastectomy for carcinoma. When teaching the client post-mastectomy exercises, it is important for the nurse to And the options are A. Exercise both arms simultaneously B. Exercise the right arm only C. Have the client wear a sling between exercise periods D. Wait until the incision has healed The right answer is option A. Exercise both arms simultaneously Here is our next question. A client who has hepatitis A asks, How could I have gotten this disease? What is the nurse's best response? I repeat, A client who has hepatitis A asks, How could I have gotten this disease? What is the nurse's best response? And the options are, A. You may have eaten contaminated food. B. You could have contracted the disease by using intravenous drugs. C. You must have received an infected blood. D. You could have contracted the disease by engaging in unprotected sex. The right answer is option A. You may have eaten contaminated food. Here is our next question. A 32-year-old female is admitted for a hemorrhoidectomy. During the nursing assessment, all of the following factors are elicited. Which one is most likely to have contributed to the development of hemorrhoids? I repeat. A 32-year-old female is admitted for a hemorrhoidectomy. During the nursing assessment, all of the following factors are elicited. Which one is most likely to have contributed to the development of hemorrhoids? And the options are A. The client states that she usually cleans herself from back to front after a bowel movement. B. The client says her mother and grandmother had hemorrhoids. C. The client has had four pregnancies. D. 
The client eats bran every day. The right answer is option C. The client has had four pregnancies. Here is our next question. An elderly client is experiencing an alteration in his equilibrium and coordinated muscle movements. The nurse realizes that these functions are controlled by which area of the nervous system. I repeat, an elderly client is experiencing an alteration in his equilibrium and coordinated muscle movements. The nurse realizes that these functions are controlled by which area of the nervous system. And the options are, A. Brain stem, B. Cerebrum, C. Diencephalon, D. Cerebellum. The right answer is option D. Cerebellum. Here is our next question. A 24-year-old woman was prescribed loratidine claritin, 10 mg tablet Q 12 hours A. C. For allergy. The nurse reviews the medication order and explains to the patient the relation of this drug to meals is as following. I repeat, a 24-year-old woman was prescribed loratidine claritin, 10 mg tablet Q 12 hours A. C. For allergy. The nurse reviews the medication order and explains to the patient the relation of this drug to meals is as following. And the options are. A. The drug is to be taken after meals. B. The drug is to be taken during meals. C. The drug is to be taken before meals. D. The drug is to be taken away from meals. The right answer is option C. The drug is to be taken before meals. Here is our next question. After four hours of active labor, the nurse notes that the contractions of a prima gravita client are not strong enough to dilate the cervix. Which of the following would the nurse anticipate doing? I repeat, after four hours of active labor, the nurse notes that the contractions of a prima gravita client are not strong enough to dilate the cervix. Which of the following would the nurse anticipate doing? And the options are, A. Obtaining an order to begin IV oxytocin infusion. B. Administering a light sedative to allow the patient to rest for several hours. C. Preparing for a cesarean section for failure to progress. D. Increasing the encouragement to the patient when pushing begins. The right answer is option A. Obtaining an order to begin IV oxytocin infusion. Here is our next question. A client with iron deficiency anemia is scheduled for discharge. Which instruction about prescribed ferrous gluconate therapy should the nurse include in the teaching plan? I repeat, a client with iron deficiency anemia is scheduled for discharge. Which instruction about prescribed ferrous gluconate therapy should the nurse include in the teaching plan? And the options are, A. Take the medication with an antacid. B. Take the medication with a glass of milk. C. Take the medication with cereal. D. Take the medication on an empty stomach. The right answer is option D. Take the medication on an empty stomach. Here is our next question. A Gravita 3 Para 2 is admitted to the labor unit. Vaginal exam reveals that the client's cervix is 4 cm dilated. The patient complains of pain which she stated to be 7 tenths. At this time and until a full cervix dilatation is achieved, what is the priority nursing goal for such patient at this time is? I repeat, a Gravita 3 Para 2 is admitted to the labor unit. Vaginal exam reveals that the client's cervix is 4 cm dilated. The patient complains of pain which she stated to be 7 tenths. At this time and until a full cervix dilatation is achieved, what is the priority nursing goal for such patient at this time is? And the options are A. Pain management B. Prevent fetal distress C. Preparing the patient for anesthesia D. Keeping this patient NPO The right answer is option A. Pain management Here is our next question. A 64-year-old male client with a long history of cardiovascular problem including hypertension and angina is to be scheduled for cardiac catheterization. During pre-cardiac catheterization teaching, 
the nurse should inform the client that the primary purpose of the procedure is. I repeat, a 64-year-old male client with a long history of cardiovascular problem including hypertension and angina is to be scheduled for cardiac catheterization. During pre-cardiac catheterization teaching, the nurse should inform the client that the primary purpose of the procedure is. And the options are, a, to determine the existence of CHD, b, to visualize the disease process in the coronary arteries, c, to obtain the heart chamber's pressure, d, to measure oxygen content of different heart chambers. The right answer is option b, to visualize the disease process in the coronary arteries. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more videos.